So was there any mechanics that you just had to drop just due to time constraints or hardware limitations at the time? Uh, there were two that come to mind. So one was um, the paints. If you remember the paints, uh, there was yes. like the blue paint for, yep. for bouncing, the repulsion gels. Yep. There was another one that I believe was purple at the time. Uh, and that one was you could walk up on walls. And oh, cool. we, we had come up with all kinds of cool <laughs> ideas for that. But the problem was that um, it just made people sick so fast. And oh. we, because I, we, we always, we for whatever reason, throughout my whole career, um, motion sickness was like this key thing that we were always bumping into because, you know, in HL2, you had a bunch of vehicles you would drive and people would drive them and get sick right away. So this was really early in the, the game and we didn't know why that was really happening. So we were coming up with kind of all our, our random ideas for why this was. But anyway, the, the, the adherence gel, I think it was called, I don't remember. Uh, you would step on the wall and it would like rotate your camera. And now the world has changed. And uh, we had one person, Mark Laidlaw, who was the writer for HL2. And Mark was really susceptible to motion sickness. So we're like, okay, I think it's okay. We've done a lot of work to smooth it out. Let's get Mark to do it. And he literally took the first step on the wall and changed his head. And he's like, I got to go lay down. <laughs> and we were like, okay, th like, I don't think we're going to be able to get this to work. So it wasn't the worst thing to cut. Um, but I feel like that probably would have filtered out a lot of people who would have been like, I just, oh, I can't do this. And, and that would have been a shame. So we, that one didn't make it. And early in the project, we had something that was sort of a bullet time-ish uh, mechanic where you could slow down time because the original portal had a lot more kind of reflex based gameplay. And that was, good in some respects, but it tended to filter out a lot of people who would have otherwise enjoyed the game. So we tried to step back on that and say, we don't want to do a lot of reflex heavy stuff. But we thought, hey, if we added something like bullet time, then you could jump through the air and do crazy things, go into bullet time, shoot some portals around and be a ninja. And that was true. There was a lot of neat things you could do with it, but it just felt it, it didn't work as smoothly because you needed an extra button and it just sort of felt um, a little strange compared to the rest of the game. So just from an elegant standpoint, we were like, this, this doesn't really fit with everything else. Let's just, you know, we'll weed that out and not worry about it. 